We started a journey with Keen Nutrition about six weeks ago. We are at the halfway mark and we wanted to update you on how it's been going because it's been going good. There have been some highs and lows. There's been drama, intrigue. And this show is on TRL. <laughs> this week we did our, our halfway point weigh in. Just so you know how we're doing so far. It's been six weeks. Let's go see the progress. And you're up one pound of muscle. Okay. Which, when you start at the body fat you start at, which was in good shape, that's uh -huh. really good. Lost two and a half percent. Okay. What am I at? I'm your freak of nature, so. <laughs> you're, you've Just lost, tell me the numbers. You've lost 5.2% body fat. You've maintained your weight, which means you've essentially lost 10.9 pounds of fat and gained 10.9 pounds of muscle, which is, um, Results will vary. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Brad. He is the owner of Key Nutrition. You guys met him in the last vlog, and we have asked him to sit here and answer the questions that you guys asked us um, on Instagram and YouTube. And we're gonna get you all the knowledge on the things. Hey, Michelle Tracy's. What type of exercise is best for weight loss? How often and how much does clean eating matter? Clean eating matters a lot. It's eighty percent of your results. It, like it's not that's. You can go to the gym five, six days a week, but if you don't eat right, yeah. Uh, what type of exercise is best for weight loss? You know what, I tell you this, I don't care if it's an 80 year old female or if it's a 12 year old little kid, like you're gonna change your body first in the kitchen, second with strength training, and third with cardio. It's because the muscle helps support your metabolism, so. Yeah, that gonna, was I mean, good. weight training is huge. Females get worried about getting bulky. You're not gonna get bulky. You produce estrogen, not testosterone. So, it, that's what's gonna, one pound of muscle, you burn 50 to 70 extra calories a day at rest, just sitting there doing nothing. So that's how you're gonna really increase your basal metabolic rate. Yeah, I feel like I was doing a lot of cardio and then since this, I've seen way, like, way more difference than I ever saw just doing cardio. Kylie Delaney says, uh, are there specific eating schedules or plans, eating plans for athletes? It differs a lot because the, usually the outtake is so much more because they're you know, training so much more, so usually okay. they can consume more calories. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely more specified for athletes. All right, this one's anonymous. What types of meals have the best flavor? Domino's is always good. Um, <laughs> Cheap meals are always You know good. what, it, it's really, and I think it's important for you to figure out like what your taste buds like, and then they gravitate towards more foods in healthy realms like that. Um, that's what we try to do for clients here is like, you know, what sounds good? Do you like Mexican? Do you like Italian? And then try to work in a healthy meal around that. But our cookbook's awesome. It's so it's, good. It's, everything's been really good. We're going to link your cookbook below. Awesome. So if you guys want to check out their cookbook, it's primo. What exercises can you do to lose belly and hip fat? Um, it's going to come from diet. People hate hearing that. Yeah. But it really is. You can't spot, target any fat off. What you can do it's is try to lean out some muscle tissue in that area so as the fat's coming off but you're never gonna sit up your way out of the stomach. As far as weight loss goes, what do you suggest? Macro counting, keto, intuitive eating? It's a great question. So what we believe at Key Nutrition is more of a macro base. Now we don't do just macros counting, so not a if it fits your macros, but our whole the whole science behind macronutrients, um, the proof is pretty relevant that it's it's there, it's what works. Yeah. Um, when it, you know, that balance of macronutrients, that's what we, do here. And it obviously works because I'm not the poster child right now, but they both are doing great. So <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's, it's been around for years. I mean I yeah. think there's things that come and go and lean and wait, but like at the, at the end of the day what you can really back science for a long term solution that's gonna work for the rest of your life, not thirty days, not sixty days, is yeah. is a macro based diet of a balance of carbs, fats and protein. And the if the approach isn't sustainable the results won't be maintainable. I think that's Ooh, true. that's a quote. That's a quote from from Brad over here. Why are you laughing at me? You look ridiculous. I don't know what she's talking about. Oh. Oh, it's that. Disclaimer, we started this program not thinking that we had a ton of weight to lose. We're not like 
We don't want anybody to think that we think that we're like that or like that we need this or whatever. We just like to push ourselves and we wanted to see what we could look like at the end of the 12 week journey. Yeah, that was a and, fun thing. And health do. has always been like a major, like that was one we of the big it. attractions that we had to each other is that like we both ate really well. We both went to the gym every day. And so it's always been a big part of our life. And I think it's important. I think yeah. ever, it should be for everyone. So now that we're in kind of like the- We're the, in the groove. In the groove, that's what I was going for. Um, some of the things that we've gotten good at and some of the things that have kind of just been complete lifestyle changes. We don't eat trash anymore. We also don't eat out as much. No, we I feel like we save we money. We eat almost every, we eat like six meals a day and it's all in our home. Except just, for maybe like, you know, maybe when we're in a hurry, we'll go grab some like super clean, we find a super, a couple clean places nearby that we know we can grab for a meal. Some adjustments that I feel like we've made is like thinking ahead of like what we're eating. We were out of stuff for like breakfast and lunch and we went at like one in the morning to the grocery store yeah um it's and, fine. It was on the way back from the gym which we also did at one in the morning yeah um but like thinking ahead of like and little things like that like when we're going out for a few hours like i bring food with me now um which seems like it'd be a hassle but it's really not it's just mm -hmm. kind of like you get you're just always groove. thinking like how long am i going to be out of the house how many meals do i need to eat in that time what should i bring with me yeah it just um, becomes a habit but you know there have been weeks when things don't go as planned like i think i had like two pretty bad weeks in a row mm -hmm. where circumstance kind of got in the way of just like eating with a bunch of people not wanting to be the person that's like hey i can't eat here or like yeah, or just guy. like peer pressure of everyone's getting pizza and you're like ah oh, screw it i'm getting pizza um but it, it doesn't like derail you completely our bodies i get hungry every like on the dot like every three or so hours mm -hmm because our metabolisms are so used to being fed. Um, I feel a lot stronger. Like I was like lifting the other night at the gym and I just felt like really strong. Like I, the weights that I was doing at the beginning of it, like didn't feel bad. Cause you are stronger than yesterday. <sighs> You're gonna quote Britney Spears, do it right. That's the only line I know. <laughs> Is that not right? Now, now I'm, I'm stronger. Ah, I blew it. I feel like it's been really interesting learning that like weights make such a bigger difference for girls. Like, especially, I feel like girls don't want to do weights and you hear it all the time because you don't want to like get huge muscles, but it just burns so many more calories while you're resting that it seriously like makes cardio just like obsolete. It's just like pointless mm -hmm. in my mind now. Like I haven't done cardio in two weeks, but I've still gone down in like weight and body fat. And you had just... the best week of the entire six weeks, the week you did zero cardio. Yeah. And I was doing weights almost every day. Mm -hmm. And he was like, what did you do? I was like, I just did weights every single day. And he's like, keep doing it. Yeah, you lost like a percent and a half of body fat that week. That was yeah. great. Overall, we got six weeks to go. I'm so excited to see where we are in six weeks. Walking out of this week's weigh-in, Harris is like, what are we gonna do after like the next six weeks? We're we just not gonna see Brad and like the key nutrition fam like <laughs> afterwards. And I was like, yeah, it's a really sad thought. <laughs> like, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> We've loved working with Brad and Michelle and everybody at Key Nutrition, they're so great. And um, I've just made this whole process super fun. It's been really cool so far. And we can't wait to see what we're gonna look like in six weeks. Can't wait for you to see. If you want us to have Brad answer more of your questions in our next check-in um, on this process, leave questions in the comments below for Brad and we'll answer more. See you guys next week. Bye.